one team, one mission. The motto of the 2014 Ohio Bobcats. The goal of becoming a tighter knit unit was born after the Bobcats lost four of their last five games in 2013. Many Bobcats agreed that a lack of togetherness at the tail end of last season led to the team's demise. When the seniors left and we came out and just said what we didn't like as a team to like, as an upperclassman, we said how we didn't like how the team was last year. And when we began and we started a new tradition and players and coaches as being more tight-knit and more disciplined. And I think that actually added and helped us. Last year, you know, we went seven and six. The year before that, we kind of faltered off at the end of the season. Um, we really weren't together. Uh, there was, I wouldn't say there's a ton of individual play, but we just weren't a team. Uh, you know, you call yourself a family and a brotherhood, but we don't act like it. With a younger team and new coaches in place, the Bobcats aim to start fresh and become a tighter unit in the offseason with the help of the United States Navy SEALs. James Ward, Ohio's cornerbacks coach, had previously been a part of Navy SEALs training at the University of Nevada prior to coming to Ohio. Ward and the rest of the coaching staff felt that the team needed leaders and a grueling training with the Navy SEALs might just be the way to find them. So we started talking about it and just you know, the thing, the season we went through last couple of seasons, we just, you know, bring up leadership. We worry about it, and we're gonna, we want to foster it, so we decided to, you know, run with it. The two-day program began with just that, identifying Ohio's leaders. 30 players that could potentially hold leadership positions were brought together on the first day, and a pack of leaders were chosen for the Friday training with the Navy SEALs. On Friday at 5 a.m., the whole team took part in the three-hour session with the chosen leaders leading the way. You gotta worry about thinking and let your body just do the work. <coughs> Are we good? Yes, sir. You all right? Good. Okay. okay. All right, let's go. Get them back in the line. While leaders emerged, the idea of one team, one mission, continued to prevail, and the SEALs stressed that no man was to be left behind. There was one man who was down back there. He could have been dead. If that was combat, he's not making it back. You guys were over 100 meters up the road, and he was back there. You know who was back there with him? Yeah. Me, because we leave no man behind. You guys understand that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in your attempts to win, you got to still think about the team. You are boat crew. Every boat crew has a swim buddy, right? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. You guys left him without a swim buddy. He's dead. You guys are down one. Think about that. Leave no man behind. Along with learning to leave no man behind, each Bobcat benefited from the training, but all in a different way. Uh, I feel like definitely unity was something that uh, we, we needed to work on. Uh, we've been working all off season on that, and uh, I feel like that's something that, that's going to play huge dividends for us going later in, uh, going into the season and for later on into the season. Uh, you know, as a football team, you have your ups, you have your downs, but uh, if we can stick together, I feel like that'll be something something big for us. Everybody on this team is our brothers, so sometimes you fight with them, argue with them, but at the end of the day, you always have each other's back, and I think that's what it means to have a good team, is everybody doing something, contributing to the team, and accepting the role, and not being so worried about me, but more worried about the team, and I think that will help us a lot this year to get to our goal, which is Detroit.